Hey guys, what's up? Irish Shambles here, and welcome to episode 53 of our Pokemon Sun Let's Play. In the last episode, if you missed it, pause this video and go back and check it out. Um, we basically have started our way through Pony Island, so like we missed out on half this island because it, wasn't, it was locked to us. Because uh, we just won champion and all that kind of shenanigans, but we're here now, we're going through it. So, um, you know, if you want to see what happened in the last episode about how far we made it, uh, make sure you go back and check it out. Uh, in this episode, we're pretty much just going to be continuing our way through Pony Island. And see what else is going to lie in store for us. Uh, before we do all that, let's have a very quick team recap for you guys. Um, as my team is uh, uh, quite weak at this point. <laughs> quite weak. Uh, our opponent, we have Wolfhound, our Lincoln Rock, Holding the Harris Stone, the Power of That Rock Side, and Excel Rock, boss of carrying Crunch and Brick Break. Lacks nature with good endurance because this wolf can run all day and all night for you. Uh, next up, we have Beetle, our Vika Vote, holding the Expert Belt, holding the Thought. What's it called? Holding the th Expert Belt to power up our super effective moves. Ca uh, carrying. Thunderbolt, Bug Buzz, Flash Cannon, and Energy Ball as its moveset. And this thing is a special attacking monster. 202 special attack stat. It is insane. Um, Lonely Lich, who likes to relax up because Beale is a cool, chill guy that just likes the comfort of his own company. Next up, we have Archer, our Decidueye, holding the Decidueye Z to, to give us that uh, Decidueye's unique Z type move. Uh, rocking out with uh, Sucker Punch, Deflate, Spirit Shackle, and Bray Bird as its moveset. Jolly Nature who likes to not off-flop because Arch is a cool, chill guy, despite looking like a badass. Next up we have Ivy R. Salazal, or Sazal, or you know something? Before the next episode, I will look up how to pronounce it correctly. I will. Uh, holding the Fire, fire EMZ to give us that uh, Z-type fire move, or that Fire-type Z move. Uh, rocking out with uh, Flamethrower, Toxic, Nasty Plot, and Sludge Wave as its moveset. Serious Nature who likes to take plenty of siestas because Ivy is all about her beauty sleep. Uh, next up we have Prey, our wishy washy. Prey, 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 Prey. Holding a quick lot because this thing is slow. Rocking out with Skulls, U turn, Hydro Pump, and Ice Beam as a smooth set. Tim Nature with a sturdy body, and that is a sturdy body by wishy washy standards. And last but not least, we have Brown Beauty, our Mudsdale. Holding the soft sand to power up the high horsepower and the earthquake, boss of carrying rock side and heavy slam. Uh, Bull Nature, strong willed, high horsepower stallion, who is a tank and hits back just as hard. It's beautiful. Now, before we go uh, ahead with this episode, let me, let me scooch forward a little bit more so you guys can see me. I'm down here. Um, before we go ahead with this episode, let's heal up our minds because we are so ho, 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 weak at the moment. So let's heal up our minds uh, quite a bit. And without further ado, let's press on forward. So this is a new area, the Pony Meadow. So we have the Pony Meadow and Resolution, Resolution Cave in here to explore. As we come across a wild with Bombi, which we've caught, we have one of these. So this isn't a this isn't a big surprise ha having to uh, what got seen one of these again. Uh, we are going to run away from it though. No, no need to waste our time with that. Um, we see like an item over there. I think that might be the nectar for Oricorio for Pony Isle because we haven't seen that just yet. If I'm being honest, let's see if we can get an item when we fish from here. Can we get an item? Can we? No one seems to be buying. Okay, fair enough. Maybe not. But uh, all these meadows seems to have these nectars. And it is the purple nectar. So that's the one we were missing. We've been missing that. So it's nice It's nice that we picked that up. Uh, okay, let's have a chat with over here. When I got hurt out here, this power pass right here carried me all the way back down to town. Sound? You're a good man, power pass. You're a good man. Right. Um, or maybe you're a girl. I don't know. I don't, I don't know these things. I don't know these things. It's hard with Pokemon. Alright, what is this over here? Is this another nectar? It's another nectar. Alright, okay, I'll take it. Um, let's go up here first and see what's over this away. It's an item. We found a honey. That sweet, sweet honey. Honey. You know, sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Um, Alright, let's go down through the branches. Uh, do we go up here? Seem Seemly so. We don't jump over here, do we? I don't think we do, anyways. Uh, so we go up over this way. Oh, I have to. I can't get that Zygarde cell just yet. I have to climb. Um, so it looks like we're going up these mountains. Because you can tell by the colour of the grass we are. We are watching up. We're climbing. <gasps> TM! Overheat! Awesome! That is a seriously powerful fire type attack. I'll take overheat. No problem. Okay, let's keep climbing. What do we have? What you call it? Can we get one encounter here just to see what what's in this grass? Just just to satisfy my curiosity, what is in this grass? 
Is there anything cool? No, there's not. <laughs> no, there's not. Cottony, you do not count as cool. I'm sorry. You just do not count as cool. So we're, go we're going to run away. And we are not going to bother with you. Pretty much. Okay. That was that might have been a slight waste of time. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Let's run down this way. Um, okay. It looks like we can go over that way. But I really want to go down here and get my... Um, this this cell so we got we have to get in the zygarde cell here which is perfect gotta get them zygarde cells they're vital they are vitally important for me to get a zygarde vitally important um although we can get 50 percent zygarde and 10 percent now but i still want that 100 percent um what's up this way that looks like resolution cave up there but i'm gonna go over here and see what's this place ah we found a power herb nice perfect all right um well point What's it called? The meadow was short-lived. Uh, let's go down into Resolution Cave and see what's in here. Uh, Resolution Cave. Bada bing, bada boom. What is in here? Well, we're going to need Mudsdale for that. Um, so let, let, let's hop on Mudsdale. And we can just... Man, this is so easy. So easy. What's around here? Well, let's go down here first and see. Okay, that looks like a proper path. We're not going to go there. Uh, let's go over this way. What's up this way? This looks like another proper path. <gasps> I'm trying to figure out if there's any items and all this kind of shenanigans. But we explore everywhere before we head out. As we come across a wild Golbat. Now, for me... For me, I'm, I'm actually going to rock slide this because it will get me a level. And I know I'll kill this thing. As he goes for the quick guard, trying to block that priority. Not happening today, Goldbat. Not happening today. We're going to knock you over. Just a plain old rock slide. So down goes the Goldbat. And we gain a level. Gotta, gotta love gaining these levels. Um, awesome. Awesome sauce. Um, I'm going to hop off Mudsdale here, actually. Because I, I, don't need, I don't need it anymore. And I can kind of run a little bit faster without Mudsdale. Ah, here's the item. I kind of need to get off Mudsdale if I wanted to get the elixir. Um, right, so let's go back over this way and hop on Mudsdale yet again, so we can um, we, so we can walk along this uh, that, that 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 rocky path. I, I don't know about you, but I would have I would have walked across it without Mudsdale, but no, that's neither here nor there. I've come across a trainer. My outward face is that of a backpacker. What about my inward face? Shy, innocent little girl trying to find her place in the world. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it is. But she seems happy. Uh, backpacker Maria would like to battle. Okay. Maria. I don't know what's gone over me in this episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't know what's come over me. Um, out comes Wolfhound. Hoping against this Imoga. Oh, we are rock sliding. We're going to kill this Imoga. Electric flying. Not happening. I'm not dealing with this thing. This thing was so hard to kill in Gen 5 as well. I remember this thing in Gen 5. In black and white. It was so hard to kill him. Pokemon black and white. So hard to kill. But we beat her. You guys are strong, so I could not steal a glorious victory. I'm not... Uh, Morgan wasn't going to steal you a victory. I'm sorry. It's just not with my team. I'm a treasure hunter looking for treasure. Have a whiff of this whole area. You can smell the aroma of treasure. Treasure. God love that treasure. Right, let's hop on Tauros here and let's charge through these rocks and see what's over this way. TM. <gasps> DM for Earthquake. We are picking up power in this, in this, what you call, episode. Earthquake. I'll take Earthquake. What's this away? Or is there a trainer here? What's this trainer? What? This trainer is behind these boulders. In this case, I'll ask you, what do you think a mountain is? Um, that big, you know, the big mass of land that goes, that shoots up to the sky. That's, you know, very hard to climb. <laughs> That's kind of rhymes. Oh, I'm loving that. So, what's called called? Doug Trio is out. Doug Trio is not, That's not good. Please don't have a ring in the trap. Please let me escape. Please let me escape. Because I do not want to deal with you. Um, ground, steel. Oh, yeah. Brown beauty. Can we switch? We can't switch. Perfect. All right, we're not trapped. It's not... This Doug Trio does not have a ring in the trap. Thank God. That would have been painful. Uh, this Doug Trio has gone for the dig. Now... Earthquake wrecks this thing, if because it's going to outspeed us anyways, right? But on the off chance it didn't, we were going to wreck this thing because it does more. It, Earthquake does more when the Pokemon's on the ground. So this Doug Trio is going to get a hammer in here, a proper hammer. This thing should go down actually. Down goes the Doug Trio. Perfect. 
Right, another one bites the dust, you know? Um, right, okay, we're after wrecking the high court. Alright, let's switch out here. He's gonna go out into Mud Bray. Let's go into Prey. Or Mudstay. He's gonna go into Mudstay, not Mud Bray. Let's go into Prey. Prey, 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 Prey. And wreck this guy with a scald. Wreck this Mudstay with a scald. Although this must have out speed my uh, wishy washy, unfortunately. Because, um, what should we call it? I'm slow. I'm really slow. Oh no, we outspeed it. Prey! That, I think has to be the first time I've seen Prey outspeed anything. The very first time. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. What strength. Just like a mountain. Awesome. Right, um,. I think I'm going to hop off Tauros here for a second. There's a, quite a bit to this. A mountain is a concept. Something you must overcome is a mountain. Okay. So we just broke down those boulders for you to get it to escape, I'm assuming. Right, what's over here? Oh, the little, little cavern, it looks like. For us to get this item. The terrain extender. Now, I believe that item, right, allows you to extend it the terrain that you set on a field. So, like, you know the way Tapu Coco and all the Tapus come in and they set up the terrain like electric terrain misty terrain all that kind of stuff that terrain just allows it to last longer which is pretty badass if you know that's pretty handy although I, I, like there is better ways to use the tapus so you're not really going to use with them but you know it, it's nice that they put an item in there like they haven't got an item to extend trick room which sucks i think they should have an item that extends trick room because trick room is like pretty good you know it's pretty your people would like to have trick room so we're going to keep on climbing around here this cave is pretty deep. Like, this is a pretty deep cave. And we just keep coming up against wild duck trios and all that kind of shenanigans. I can't give out because this isn't a load of, this is an alone in form. Like, it's an alone in Pokemon. And I, so I won't, I'm not going to give out too mad. I'm not, I'm not going to be too salty about it. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Um, let's switch up the bonds for a minute. Let's put Ivy out in front. Let's put Ivy out in front, because we've had Wolf Hound out in front for a little while. This is Zygarde Cell. Now, I didn't see anywhere for me to climb, like, up those ledges, so I'm just going to go down a little bit further. This cave has changed dramatically. It's a lot darker. I suppose since you're going deeper into the cave, it should be a lot darker, but still, still though, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be, to just drastically change. As I come across another wild dog trio. These dog trios are everywhere. Like everywhere. Um, can we, we're going to run away from this dog trio. And we'll be the finest. Thank you very, very much. Um, let's just keep exploring. Keep Let's keep going deep into this cave. Oh, there's pats here. There's loads of pats here. This is... Ah, uh, I, I see what's going on. This is a lot like... Um, Terminus Cave in Kalos has got the exact same layout, where it has the four paths co like converging out, and there's items in each one, and they're pretty decent items as well. Like they allow you to use like it like it do for like different legendary Pokemon. So this is it, like this is pretty handy. I don't know what these these items are going to be, but I can understand them. So that's the light ball. So that's for Pikachu. That powers up Pikachu's moves. So that that's pretty important. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, what's up here? What's up here? I might, I might, you know, I might use a Max Repel. Because it's the same two Pokemon over and over again. And we're not going to catch either or. So I might drop a, a Max Repel just to uh, just to get rid of these guys, you know. If I'm being honest. I just don't, I just don't, see, the, I just don't see the point in having them, alright. Just don't see the point in having them. Um, so let, let's, what's it called? Let's drop a Max Repel so I don't have to face all these wild encounters anymore. Can we go down to where the Max Repels are? M, M8, yeah, thank you, Max Repel. Let's use this item. So we don't have to come across any of these wild encounters anymore. Let's go up here to the top left. What's this item? That is the Adrenaline Orb. Okay, so we can buy we can buy them. We can buy them, but it's, it's nice, it's what you call it. It's handy getting them. <laughs> it's handy getting them regardless, but we can, we can buy them. I haven't really used them, if I'm being honest, but I know they can be used to like boost your a speed or something when your a stat is lowered. I need to look into it a bit more, like on the competitive standpoint. We find a big nugget here. That was pure fluke. That was just right there when I clicked A. Um, and then I believe it's just the bottom right, isn't it, that we can go explore? Because you can get a lot of these, uh, a lot of the items to boost legendary Pokemon in 
the... Oh, oh, I'll take a life orb. Oh, 100%. Boost your damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. That's that's solid. And there is a Zygar cell right here. Thank you very much. I'll take you. Is there anything else knocking around here? I would like to use another repel. Thank you. I think I used 500 steps that quickly. Well, um, yeah, we're going to go back down. I believe that's that's everywhere here. I believe. Pretty sure that's everywhere here. That was. I'm not gonna lie. That was relatively quick. That was really really quick and um, painless down there. I have yet to see anywhere for me to go up these ledges. So I'm I'm looking frantically. There's the hiker in there, which leads to no man's path. There's the TM in there. That this leads us around into here. So that, that doesn't bring us anywhere. Maybe we can go up there. Maybe we can. Maybe they're just caverns. And we know what's to the left here, and that's just nothing. I'm, I'm correct here, haven't I? Like, there's, yeah, we just can't go up anywhere there. So it looks like we're done here in this cave. If I miss something, you guys let me know in the comment section down below. But I'm pretty sure this cave is complete. We can mark this. We can, uh, we can mark this off our checklist as done. So, um, all right, let's hop off uh, Mudsdale here, and let's just keep watch. Let's go back down to the Pony Plains, and watch. Keep keep going, keep going along this island because there's still so much more left to explore. Uh, we have Pony Coast, and we have one other area after Pony Coast, uh, Pony Gauntlet, I think it's called. Uh, before we are done with Pony Island, so let's go back. Uh, to the Pony Plains. I love how all these meadows are misty. They have this little, this light mist over them, like, you know? Oh, I suppose it's like a pond of water and it's all mountainy and whatnot, so it is kind of nice. Right, so we come, we're we just going to run away from this cottony. No point staying in against this cottony. Like, zero point. Let's just run away from it. Thank you very much. Thank you very, 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 very much. And uh, let's just keep, let, let's just keep going down. Get, get out of here. And uh, back up to Pony Coast. So Pony Coast, here we come. Uh, I'm kind of curious as to what's up here, what's on this route. I don't, I don't know if we'll be able to complete it in this episode. Maybe we will. It'd be nice if we could. I'm not gonna lie, because um, it means we have some. We, it means we have loads to explore. What is just? What's this here for? I don't, wait a minute. What? There's a sound. Radar. Oh, there's a QR thing here, isn't there? Oh, wait. Oh, it's the Pokey Finder. What? Why did I do this? Oh, okay. We're here now. Might as well just do it. Oh, it's a Fero. There's a Fero. God, I can't believe we're here. Are we done? Right, okay, I think we're done. I think we're done, Allah. That just, that just takes too long. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Um, all right, we'll just go. We'll just pick that one. Yeah, that's the best shot we got. That's fine. Thank, thanks, thanks for that. Th thanks for that. Um, I, I don't, I don't care about a thumbs up. Obviously, I do care about the thumbs up on this video, but I don't care about the thumbs up with this shenanigans. Can we close? Yeah, we're going to close Poke Finder. I got all confused there. I was like, what the hell's going on? Why am I up here? No. All right, okay. Back, back to what we're meant to be doing here, and let's just. Uh, check out what's on this route. There's a team up there. I can't get at that though. So, so that's one path broken. Can I break this path? Oh, there's a there's a Zygar cell there. So, let, so let's have a look. We get that. I'm t lo loving getting them Zygar cells. Um, okay, we can kind of climb up here now, which is nice. Let's jump down. And we get a TM for Dark Pulse. Loving that. Why are we getting all these awesome TMs after we become champion? Like, why could we not get these before? Like, Dark Pulse is a serious move. It's a serious move. Right, let's keep going along this coastline. Wait a minute, was that it? Oh, back we come. There is the captain. We're not going. We're not dealing with that just yet. Um, we still have this route to clear out because we are not done this. Wait a minute. So, oh, I was wondering what happened with like the exp exclamation point. No, a Pokemon just came out and attacked us. Happens to be a wild dog trio. Okay, we've seen a lot of these dog trios in this episode. Like a ton of them. Like an absolute ton of them. Um, can we run? Please don't have a trap. Thank you very, very much. 
That's all I want. Um, right, let's hop down off of Tauros here. Let's hop down off of Tauros here. Oh, what's this? Another Zygarde cell. Beautiful. We're getting, oh, we're getting loads of items here. This is, this is hardly it, is it? This is hardly the whole route. Surely not. Surely. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me break through here. Okay. That, that's that done. Uh, that's that done. What's this? We get a star piece. Beautiful. Um, that's the exit. Well, well, let's battle these guys and get the Zyme over here. I think it's the next route. I'm not just an ordinary sightseer. We want even stronger rivals. My Pokemon, I both cry out for that. We cry out for these strong rivals. We could do this. This is insane. This is ridiculous. Sightseers galore. Honeymooners, Norikio, and... Oh, I don't I don't know the next name. I don't know the next name. But oh Devin. There we go. Devin and Norikio. What a strange combo. They have the original Nine Tails and Sand Slash. They have the, the OG pair. Um I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm pulling a double here. I am 100 percent pulling a double here. Uh Prey. Can you switch out here? And Oh dear god. Um I do not want. Oh, gee, oh, I don't know what I want in here now. I think I have to go out into. Um, I have to go into Brown Beauty. These, this combo actually pretty is a not a nice combo for me. Not gonna lie, it's not a great combo for me at all. But we're gonna pull a double here on like on our two mons because I am not dealing with this this lot. Like Sand Slash isn't that threatening, but Nine Tails is. Nine Tails is pretty spooky. So Nine Tails is gonna go for the old. Wow, okay. Went for the flamethrower and added buckets. And Santa's gonna go for Gyro Ball. Mudsdale! Oh, we were lucky. I think that's because Mudsdale is just so slow. Like, Beauty is just so slow, we were fine. Okay, um. Let's go for the Scald on the Sand Slash. And I'm straight up just healing. I'm straight up just healing. I'm just healing. I'm healing Beauty because Beauty is wrecked. Let's, so let's heal up our girl. And uh, hopefully. Much cause our our prey, 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 prey. Our prey can fin uh, finish off the sand slash. Who's setting up? S slow down, sand slash. It's not that serious. It is not that serious. Can that skull do the trick? Yes, it does. All right, down goes the sand slash. That that guy is setting up on me. Wasn't happening. We we weren't dealing with that. Prey gets to level 60 63. I'll take that. No problem. Um, and Beetle gets a bit of XP, which is all good. Devin's got more Pokemon. He's got he's got regular Golem. I'll, that's no problem for me. Um, we're not going back into the bag here. We're going to go fight. We're going to go Scald. We're going to go attack that Golem. And then we're going to take high horsepower to deal with the Ninetales. Because Earthquake will hit my... Watch, got my Prey as well. So it's, that, it's not nice. Ninetales goes for the Flamethrower on the Prey. High horsepower. Can we kill this Ninetales? Can we? We do kill it. So down goes the Ninetales. Unlucky. You could. You should have set up the sun. You should have set up the sun, Nine Tails, and got yourself a bit more power. That's what you should have done. Um, okay, so we have this golem out left. I don't think we, we won't kill because he's probably going to have sturdy, and he does have sturdy. Do not explode. Do not explode. Oh, he does explode. I should have. I should have jinxed myself. I shouldn't have jinxed it at all. But yeah, of course he explodes. Um, that hurts prey quite a bit, but because we got the defense boost, beauty eats that up. Um, I mean, we, we have another defense boost, which is insane. Uh, who's next? Oh, if you guessed it, level 62. I'm loving that. Uh, Executor. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I, this is not a good matchup for, for us either. Um, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. Uh, I'm going to switch here out into Ivy. Because, you know... It's my best way of dealing with this executor. Actually, hold on. This is going to have a psychic type move. I was. This is not a good idea. Went for Leaf Storm on on Ivy. All right, that worked out well. That worked out very well. And Ice Beam. I doubt it's going to kill. I doubt it. Yeah, I was thinking that it will do. It was going to do a lot, but not not the whole shebang. Um, maybe I should have went for U-turn. U-turn would have been quite effective on the um, executor. Ah, uh, but. You know, it's done. It's done. I should. I didn't go for it. 
Let's go for the flame floor. Down goes the executor. And we are in a good spot now. Well, actually, we've won. What am I saying? Well, of course we're in a good spot. We just beat these, guy uh, these guys. The honeymooners are done. Thank you for showing the strength I was looking for. I'm glad I came to Alola. Whoa, I was covered a cluster of talent in the Alola region. Cluster. Cluster. I'm the champion, for Christ's sake. Of course there's talent. Okay, let me hop off my Tauros and get this item. And while I'm doing this, uh, let's have a quick uh, talk about today's question of the day. And uh, question of the day today, you guys, is what Pokemon did I miss out on using throughout my LP? So, um, obviously I had these six months. I uh, got these six months early enough. But there's like certain Pokemon I missed out on, like uh, like Arakuen, Gala Spot, all this kind of stuff. So, what Pokemon do you guys think I really missed out? Like, I um, didn't able to try out during my LP. Um, um, which ones you guys would have liked to have seen me use and all that kind of stuff. So let me, let, what's it called? You guys let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought. Um, and let's have a chat with Mina, who is the most wishy-washy character I've ever seen in my life. Oh, you're the one from the great composition. I just did a hundred sketches, so now I'm taking a break. I beat all the trainers around here too, so now I'm totally bored again. I wish there was someone to go all out against. That's it, Irish. If you can beat all the trainers around here too, I'll give you a battle against me. Flippin' hell, Mina. Alright, okay, I'll, I'll do just that, Mina, but I am none too pleased by having to do it. None too pleased with you at all, Mina. None too pleased. Okay, so we see this scientist over here. Let's go battle him. I know a lot about Pokemon. I can use my knowledge in a battle. In a battle. I'm telling you, I can use it. Mold it all into my brain and get it done and dusted. So, uh, we're challenged by scientist Kyle. Alright, okay, fair enough. Uh, he's going to send out the Ditto. Interesting. Interesting. Do not be. Are you imposter? No, you're not. Okay, so you're going to have to transform this turn. Let's go for the leaf bait because you're still going to be normal type. You have to transform. Oh, he's not even. Ditto's not even going to get the chance to transform. Not even going to be given the chance. He's going to send a Porygon Z. Let's keep battling. Porygon Z is a tricky one. This this thing might be packing ice beam. Please don't boost your special attack. It's attack rolls. That's fine. Because Porygon sees a special attacker, and that would have been that would have been scary. Uh, I'm gonna go for another Leaf Blade. Can we do the damage to this Porygon Z? We can. As Porygon Z goes for the lock on. Take a target. Get take an aim. Get his target. Target acquired. All that kind of shenanigans. Uh, we're gonna go for another, another Leaf Blade as it goes for the map. What? What are you trying to do to me? Leaf Blade should kill. Magic Coat does this. Oh. Magic Coat doesn't do only does statuses. It doesn't do the uh, doesn't do damaging moves. You're done. You're finished. Thank you very. Oh, thank God. I was wondering what was going on there. Awesome. So we beat the scientist. You know a lot of, about Pokemon. Amazingly, even more than I do. Get in. Get in. Awesome. So that's one trainer down, anyways, um, for us to be able to take on uh, Mina, the uh, the most wishy-washy character in all the Pokemon. Right. Looks like. That what's it called the other the the bit on the coast is the dead end. I would say just by a brief glance, there's waterfalls and everything here, and that is beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, as we're still kind of progressing through Pony, as Pelipper set up the drizzle. Don't be making a rain in Alola. This place is beautiful. Cop on Pelipper, please. But we run away safely. No need to deal with the drizzle Pelipper anymore. Thank God. Um, as we see uh, another Z Z. What's it called? Not Z something. Zygar cell. Let's have a chat here with the trainer tips. Rumor has it there are some special Z moves that only certain Pokemon can use. That is true. There's one for like there's one for our starters. There's one for the Tapus. What are Pokemon? Do you know? Like there's I think there's like one or two for oh there's one for Snorlax which is amazing. Um, there's one for Pikachu, Raichu, few others. As we're against veteran Sherry who refuses to look at us, which is still my pet peeve in all of this, you guys. Still my pet peeve. Uh, out comes Weavile, as we go out into Archer, okay, pretty slick, pretty slick, um, right, let's fight, let me see, let me see, let me see, I should not stay in here, I should not stay in here, what am I thinking, this is a Weavile, I'm, I'm being an idiot, let's go out to, let's go out to Ivy and flamethrower this thing, rather than being a, an idiot and expect to get, like, eaten by an ice type attack. Or Night Slash. Either or, like, that would have killed me. That crit knew he didn't mean, though. Uh, Flamethrower, can we outspeed? We do outspeed. This will kill the Weavile. 
That was a risk, actually, because we fight it so fast, I could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Risk. Total, total, total risk. Um, I'm going to switch out here. Um, let's go on to Wolfhound, because Wolfhound can just go for the Accelerock and knock this Weavile out. So that that would be handy. Uh, fight, Accelerock. We knock this Weavile out. Oh no, she switches. I... This girl's packing power. Like, she's packing real power. Uh, I have to go out into Archer here, because... This combo oh, might go for the, the sky uppercut. This. What? When did. What's got. Oh my god, Dragon Hands. Oh shit. Oh lord. This has gone scary. This veteran has just has petrified me. Um, I'm going for Brave Bird. As this thing goes for Noble Roar. What is this? What are you doing to me? Attack. Oh my god, no. Why? 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 We're not going to kill this combo oh, by the way. With our attack drop, and we do. It is a two hit kill. God, come on! This this dragon is so annoying. Noble roar again. Trying to li trying to stall us out with our brave birds. Um, we're gonna go for another one. Hopefully, we knock this thing out, please. C can we knock it out? Not quite. Not quite. Um, I am gonna go for the sucker punch here. Please go for the attacking move. Yep, I have to keep going for Soka Push because this guy can kill me at any at any at a moment's notice. Okay, let me get it straight. He's got three status moves. Oh screw this! I'm going. I'm going for Brave Bird. I'm going for Brave Bird. Yeah, he went for Noble Roar. I was I was about to think this would be the one turn now I go for Brave Bird and he's gonna kill me. But no, um, I don't know if he kill. He's got plus two defense. I'm minus two attack. This combo is set up like, but we knock it out. Thank God, that was that was going to be a nuisance. Uh, we do get a chunk of XP for that though, like a huge chunk. Uh, so does Wolfhound. The whole team does. Prey gets a level up to 64. It's insane. Magmortar is out next. I'm switching here. I'm going to go into Brown Beauty. Brown Beauty can kill this thing with an earthquake. This veteran has got is packing serious power, like ridiculous power. Like, she's got this cannon, this, like, this poker with a cannon on his arm, like, you know, like a, a magma cannon. Magma's going to set up the sunny day. Oh, you're dead. Like, this magma is done. It's not living this EQ. It's just not living it. It can't possibly live this EQ. Can, can, can you please die? Thank you very much. Down goes the Magmortar. We're in solid shape. Uh, we get a bit of XP. What, who's next? Tre Trevenant. Alright, um, I do not have Ivy anymore, so that sucks. Uh, I have to go out to Archer. I'm going to have to go to Archer and use my Z-move to knock out this Trevenant. Have to. This uh, ghosty Pokemon. But uh, out this thing comes. Look at it. Um, I fight. Z-power. Let's go for it. Sinister Arrow Raid. Come on, this UI. Let's Let's break out the move. This is going to use it. He's going to use all his strength here. Come on, Archer. Come on, my boy. Sister Arrow Raid. Let's go. The Trevenant is not living this. I don't care if he's a spooky tree. If he's like, you know, being taken over by his ghost or something. He's done. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Health. Yes, gone. Thank you. Down goes the Trevenant. We did we did well there picking up that. And Bram Beauty gets a level. Beautiful. And last one at least is Weavile. Let's switch out here and let's just straight up go into Wolfhound. That Weavile that was giving us all that bother at the start of this battle is back again. Trying to sw trying to clean up. So out comes Weavile on the lowest of health. Weavile setting up the pressure. I'm just going to go straight up for the Accelerock. Knock this Weavile out. As this Weavile goes for Snatch. Oh, I oh, was trying to steal our item. But no, not happening. I'm going to knock you out. So down goes the Weavile. Perfect. Perfect, we get a bit of XP. Beautiful. Why was I unable to win? Thank you for giving me an, an assignment. An assessment, I would have thought, not an assignment, but that's neither here nor there. Right, okay, you guys. I'm going to wrap it up here today. 
Uh, in the next episode, we will finish off this route and the very last bit of Pony Island, I'd say. And we'll go from there. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here today. If you guys liked today's episode, please tick that like button down below for me. If you guys got any comments on today's video, be it good, bad, or indifferent, let me know in the comment section down below. And last one is, if you have... What's it called? If you want to see more Pokemon some videos coming your way on this channel, please hit that subscribe button down below for me. And if you feel this video is worth sharing, please do so. There we go. Outro. Done. On that note, I'm going to get on up out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.